Hello, Leo, and welcome to a Blue Inside You Tarot. My name is Robin. And Leo, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we? Let's find out, first of all, what they're feeling, thinking about you in the present moment. We're going to talk about their intentions and what they want from this connection or want from you. And then, as always, we're going to get their actions and see what you can expect here in the near future. And Leo, my apologies for the echo. My house is for sale, and therefore... There's nothing left in my room because <laughs> it is perfectly staged. So it's completely empty and I apologize. But as soon as my house sells, my stuff is coming back. Uh, so my apologies, it's just temporary Leo. So we have bluff. We have pretending, mask, and exaggeration, and exhaustion. Depletion, drains, and long journey. All right, so we definitely... Oh, I missed secrets. I haven't told you everything. Oh, I... I was, I was chatting. I was distracted because of the echo. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's, let's mention the most important card here. Let's get into your reading. The person on Leo's mind. How do they think and feel about Leo? Talk to us, baby. Talk to us. What does Leo need to know? What do we got? Ooh, Hierophant. Should be dealing with the Taurus. The page of cups here. <laughs> All right, well, they've been keeping secret their feelings for you, Leo. They actually think the, whoa, Nelly. Their intentions? Are they playing a cool here? Because uh, inside, they'd be freaking out. They have the lovers as your intentions here, Leo. All right, what can Leo expect here in the near future? Could be dealing with the Gemini, baby. What do we got? The Five of Pentacles, eh? That is not the card we want there. We're going to find out what that means. There's the Ace of Cups. Wow. All right, the Hierophant. And, well, these just flew out. I don't even know if you saw that. You might have heard it. Hold on. Hold on. They fell on the floor, Leo. Let me grab them here. So, this is their feelings for you. Three of Pentacles. The tap. What the hell is going on with your person? We have the Tower of Scorpio Energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords. This is clarifying the Page of Cords and the Hierophant. The Page of Cords. I'm just making up words here. The Page of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces Energy. What they want and how they see you is husband or wife material. Um, they see his dream come true, wish fulfillment. The page of cups is the dreamer card. It's someone with like seeing someone through rose colored glasses, blind in love, dumb, blind in love, just dumb in love, lost in love, drunk in love, as Beyonce would say. All right, let's stop that. Um, they see you as the shiz Nick. Here's the thing. This is what I don't understand. We're going to find out what the fuck's going on because they're pretending like they don't care. What's that all about? What is that all about? They secretly want a relationship with you. They want to work on this with you. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> they think you're their destiny. They think you're the fucking shiz Nick. But then we have the Ten of Swords here. They ain't telling you shit. So they're, they're, we'll find out this Five of Pentacles here. So you got someone who is like secretly in love with you. They secretly want to be married with you. Maybe you are married and you're having some challenges in your marriage. But they're not telling you that they want that. They are pretending like they don't like you. Like you're five years old and you're in kindergarten and they're pulling your fucking hair and your ponytail. If you're the girl, this is a dude. He's sitting in class pulling your ponytail, annoying you, pretending he doesn't like you, but he really has a crush on you. So they're not telling you what they want. We're going to see how this plays out because this is uh, interesting energy. They haven't told you everything. Maybe they haven't told you shit. Uh, they're pretending. You have a pretender here. Because their intentions, <laughs> Leo, uh, the motherfucking lovers, uh, their intentions are for you to fall in love with them. Uh, maybe they're trying to play it cool or maybe they're trying to act aloof like they're not interested to get you to chase or something here. But let's better understand this. They see you as their soulmate, the one they want, they, the lovebird, the one they spend their life with. That's their intentions. So I'm saying their actions and then the five of pentacles. Like what? what are, you, they got nothing else to say. All right, let's move on. What they want is you for life. Those are their intentions. Um, but it doesn't match their actions because we got the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is leaving you out in the dust. It's leaving you out in the cold. It's feeling neglected. It's, what is it? <laughs> Let's talk about the Five of Pentacles and what can Leo expect in the near future? What can Leo expect in the near future here from the person they are thinking about? Five of Cups in reverse here, okay? Now they got a lot to say. Now they got a lot to say. There's you, we're keeping you with the fire sign. There's Leo Sage like yourself. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Six of Wands and in the middle, uh, we have the two of cups we have the sun we have the death and we have the ten of pentacle or excuse me the ten of cups there's the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces we got some this is there <laughs> there's this person telling you they're your soulmate okay so you know the standoff ends here i think it's out of fear i think this person's well there's the five of cups in reverse and the five of coins they are not willing to lose you this person's going to drop their ego. They're going to drop their pride. Whatever the fuck was going on here. And this person was pretending they didn't watch you. They shall depend to pretend to know more. They're tired. 
So whatever this game was, if you guys feel like we have like a married couple playing chicken at the dinner table or something, but whatever your situation is, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a standoff, but you win. They don't want to, they, they're not going to take any chance of missing you. They're afraid of it. And, and when I say missing you, missing out on this opportunity. So they come through and transform this connection. They tell you how they feel. You're the one that makes them happy. We have the lovers here, Leo, and the two of cups. This is an emotional connection that can't be broken. This is a bond that lasts lifetime. This is love. These are the cards you want to see in love reading, baby, especially with the Ten of Cups here. So, and then we got the King of Wands and the King of Cups. We got two people very strong in their masculine energy. And then we got someone softening up here and feelings being expressed. So, and there's the dropping of the guard and there's the Empress. It was the feminine energy. You might've been a little ticked off here. And it's the masculine energy is going to come through and transform it. And when I say transform it, they're the ones making the move here because they don't want to take a risk on losing, uh, you know, whatever the situation applies. So um, that's coming to an end here, Leo. <laughs> the standoff, done. Chicken, you guys slammed on your brakes and you kissed and made up here. So that's what we got here. Let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. We'll see where you guys are in a month. Uh, what's the Karen connection? Yeah, the universe. The universe is guiding you to that special person, so allow everything to take its natural course. I actually want to grab the hidden truth here because I think that there's a little bit of well, a little bit of secrets here, things not being said. What's the hidden truth? If they could say something that they don't say, they want to say, they should say, they can't say, but Leo needs to know. What is it? I left you before you could leave me. Game of chicken. They were pretending. That's so okay. You came closer than anyone. I replay our conversations over and over, over and over again. Okay, so Leo, let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things are going. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's talk about you, Leo. Where's Leo? And let's have this conversation go. We know what they're coming to say. We know what they want. How do you feel? They be playing some games. Okay, we got some balance and some harmony with the Three of Pentacles. There's your conversation. We have the Seven of Cups, clear in the air. Got the Eight of Cups. We got some introspection, decisions to be made. We got the Four of Wands. And then we got the Devil. Now it could be Capricorn energy. There could be something. Ooh, the Tower and the Devil, eh? Hmm. Big chip. Okay, wow. I guess like moving in together. Whoa, temperance, the tower and the chariot. My first instinct was moving in together. Um, so maybe you're living together again. Maybe you're taking the next step and moving in together. Maybe this is going to progress there. If you're not at that stage and you're like, what the fuck? I just met them. We're not moving nowhere. Um, this is just moving forward. This is a big change in this relationship. So the confusion's coming to an end. I feel that this conversation, everything's kind of cleared the air here. The pretending, the aloof energy, whatever that was, is no longer here. But we're going to have to address the devil energy. There's the ten of swords. There's the page of wands, the page of swords. There's your conversation about what happened. Um, and so, yeah, there's two people talking about what happened here. Um, basically, what I feel is you kind of said, let's not do this again. <laughs> uh, these games aren't working here. Um, let's just keep communication open. Let's, you know, that's what I feel kind of happened. Um, it might've been a pretty unhealthy way to deal with whatever the fuck happened here. Um, and maybe it was an issue from before you guys, right? It, it might not always be something, whatever it was, you know, your situation, you know what it is. You talked about it and you've cr created harmony, but I do feel there's a lot of discussion to kind of clear the air and get rid of some of uh, this behavior back here. So I kind of feel like, you know, the feminine's like, listen, Let's not go there again. <laughs> this is tired. This is exhausting. Let's just be open with how we feel and be real. Um, and, you know, avoid that trauma, drama issues in the past. So you move forward, um, taking it to the next level. The clear, the secrets are, you know, this is clear in the air <laughs> is what I see here to create peace. But you've dealt with that and you're moving forward. And, and hopefully that doesn't happen again, Leo. So Leo, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going on. Ace of Cups, a fresh start, a new beginning with this person. Um, and, the, you know, the air is clear. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style and your reading, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Leo. I always appreciate your support. I truly do. Let's close your reading off today with your yes or no question. What is the answer for Leo? What do we got? Answer is uncertain. Ask again. All right. Rephrase, remix. Just ask your question in a different way. What's the yes or no answer for Leo? Yes. Or no, what's the answer for Leo? I only take flyers for this one. Not at all. It's a no by all means. <laughs> right. Those are your questions today. Leo, I truly wish you the best of luck.
Until next time.